Okay, so case problem one, Heavenly Chocolates website transactions. You can download the Excel spreadsheet from Blackboard. And then the question in the book on page 82, the first question is to um, use graphical and numerical summaries for several different pieces of the information. We're looking at length of time, the shopper spends on the website, the number of pages they view, uh, the mean amount spent per transaction and then to talk about what you've learned from this. So let's get started with doing these different transactions in Microsoft Excel. So here's your spreadsheet. Now, the first thing that I typically do is go up to data and hit filter. Once you have a filter, you can take a look and see, um, for example, the time spent ranges from 4.3 minutes all the way to 32.9 minutes. You can also see the number of pages range from two pages to 10 pages, and the amount spent ranges from $17.84 to $158.51. Um, now, another easy way to do this is to go into insert pivot table and hit OK. Once you have your pivot table, then you can see, again, let's focus on the first question here, which is the length of time the shopper spends on the website. So we can put in time. We see a grand total of 640.5 minutes for everybody. Now, maybe you wanna look at this by customer and we can move these around to see customer um, length of time. You can also sort this if you wanna come up to data and sort it to see the smallest and the largest. We can look at, um, instead of customer, we could look at it by browser to see which browser has the most time spent. And that's fairly intuitive. Um, you can also see if there's a correlation between the, the amount of time spent and the dollar amount spent on these different browsers. So for example, um, the highest number for Chrome, 339.8 minutes. And that's also the total uh, the higher dollar amount spent. So that does seem to align, at least the more time they spend on the website, the more money they spend. Now, if we wanna take the browser out of that, then you can see um, in total, this just gives you the total 640.5 minutes. So I like having the browser in there. I think it helps give us a little more information. And then pages viewed, I'm gonna actually move that up to see, okay, so pages viewed, Again, the more pages that they view with Chrome, um, the more money that they're spending. So this gives you some fairly intuitive information that you can then look at question number one and start to make some assumptions of what this data means. Now, it's also talking about graphs and numerical summaries. So I've showed you how to do a lot of different tables, but if we wanna put this in graph format, you can go up to insert and use recommended charts. And we have to make a decision first of what is it that we want to graph. And personally, I think I'll just graph these in smaller bits so that we can make more sense of it. So if I do that and then I say insert recommended chart, then you can see we could do either a bar chart or a pie chart. And that gives you some pretty good information. Once you get your chart in here, you can rename this if you want to. Um, you can change your colors if you want to. The, there's different formats up here as far as styles. If you want different styles, you can play with that. Uh, you can also change your colors if you wanna put different colors in. So that should help you out with question number one.